There's something else, Tomer, you said that I'd really like to pick your brain on. Um, you were talking about the importance of, of having a consistent mental training throughout your throughout your yes. everyday training. And I think that's brilliant. It's a really a brilliant point to make, man, because I think that for most people listening who compete, I think can relate to this. You spend all your time training and focusing on your jujitsu game and your, strate- your, your strategy for the match itself. But then you get to the place, uh, you get to the, to the arena of the day of, and you're trying to figure out how to calm yourself down, how to keep yourself thinking positive, how to think yourself from not focusing on the fear of losing and things like that. Mm-hmm. And so you've mm-hmm. basically done everything right except this one major thing, which is controlling your Same. mind. Yeah. yeah, and you're trying to do exactly. that only on the days that you actually compete. And so if you, exactly. compete, if you compete once every few months, uh, you know, or some people only compete a couple times a year, um, that can be a hard thing to develop over time. It can be hard to build the neurological connections and exactly. sort of the, the things that you need to develop that skill. So, so <clears> I love that you emphasize the importance of doing that on a regular basis. The question is, how do you do it? Well, what's, what's your, what's your yeah. advice on, on developing that skill? Mm-hmm. Because like you said, when you compete, uh, when we competed like every two weeks, then you don't even think about it. You feel like you come to train, you know, because like you said, your neurological system is get is, is used to this type of feeling. So it's, it's natural. Our, ba- our bodies and mind are used to feel, to, to use routines. You know, we feel relaxed when we have a routine, like you have a routine before you go to bed, you have a routine before you go to sleep. You have, even if this routine is like going over your phone and then go back to sleep. Um, you have a routine when you wake up in the morning and you have a routine when you go to train and you have a routine when you train. And I emphasize that because if we take your routine before your training and during your training, like my own routine before training, you know, I, I go, I, I drive to the, to my school, then I hear music. Um, uh, and what I added to this routine is that I'm, I added a small, like 30 seconds, uh, motivational video before each training, each competition training that I did, um, which get, you know, got me hype before, before class, even if I was tired, you know, I heard some songs then put this motivational, um, 30 second motivational speech. I got high before training and then I went to train. And in my training, you have your own routine. Usually it's like, you know, a warm up, then some drilling, then some live sparring. The difference in the competition is that you, most of the people don't warm up and then they put their gi on and then they go to compete. They didn't touch anybody before that. They didn't drill. They didn't warm up. So it's a completely new experience for them. But if you add this type of routine to your competition, you will feel m- much different because right now when I competed, I had my own um, uh, root, like warm up routine that I did before my fights. Nothing special. I came, I, I came up with it. It's, a, it's, it's a, a pretty basic thing. It's like a yoga flow because I like to do yoga. So I did some yoga movements um, and then I drill with, with my friends, some drills that I did almost every competition training, some simple stuff, you know, like moving around, knee cuts, long steps, um, you know, some sweeps that I like to do, drilling. And then I do like three rounds of one minute, you know, short rounds just to get my my heart rate up. Um, Because uh, I I said it to a friend, like you always have a bad round. The, The first round is usually the bad round you know, like a, your worst round of the training. So do it in the warm up. Don't do it in the competition, you know, get, get out, get this round out of yourself, you know, let him pass your guard, recover, whatever, then go to compete after you get your heart rate up, then let it go down. And then you go to compete. And then you feel like it's a, it's a training because you, you're used to this feeling. And in this competition, I put the same motivational video up before each fight. And, you know, I felt like I'm, I'm, I'm used to this type of routine because I did this during my training. And like you said before, not everybody competes a lot. Some people compete like once a year, two times a year. Then you have to drill competition in your training. And there's a lot of method to do it in training. You don't have to make an event out of it, but you can do, for example, you can end your training uh, with a small circle and put two guys in uh, for a uh, to do like a simulation of a competition for the first point. The first guy that do a point wins the fight. Then you stop for, for around like one minute. So you feel the pressure of the competition because everybody is watching and you have to win a fight. 
but it's not an ego thing because it's not a real fight. It's just one minute for the first point, you know, in a real match, even if you lost the first point, the fight still keep going. Um, so that's a really great way to, to get this competition feeling, put a ref in, even put a ref in, make a small circle with the guys, put two guys in and a ref in to, to, to do, you know, like the, the shake hands and all of that. So you feel this vibe. Um, this is one way. Another way is to drill a competition mindset. So end your training with a small type of competition, like sprints or like who can do as many push-ups as he can do or who can do as many, you know, knee slides uh, techniques in one minute. Some small competition to get this competition vibes inside the people. So then they start to like to compete because they're always competing on something, you know. The same, the, the, the feeling of, of winning is in every competition, not only in fighting. So if you want to compete in like a push-up contest and then in like a drilling contest, then you're feeling this vibe when you want to compete again in, a, in another tournament.